So we've covered some of the basic commands that you'll be using in pretty much any Unix session. And now I'd like to cover just a couple more sophisticated options that you can do with each of those tools. So for example, with CD, you can just type in CD, and no matter what directory you are currently in, if you just type in CD and then return, you will be in your home directory. All right. And notice I typed in PWD, that stands for Present Working Directory, and that just lists a path or a list of directories that you are currently in. All right. You can also type in CD space tilde, and that will do the same thing. So whenever you change a directory, it's helpful to type in PWD to see where you are exactly. Also, with the ls command, you remember that it lists all the directories and other text files within a, a given directory, but you can also give it what are called options. All right, so in Unix, the first thing you type is usually the command, and then there's a space, and there are what can be called options. So options usually have a dash in front of them. So in this case, I'll put dash, and then ls has many different options, and here I'll just type in dash L, which stands for long. Now this presents everything in what's called long format. Uh, don't worry about everything right now, but it just gives more information about each directory and each text file within the current directory I'm in. So as you can see here, there might be information about who has what kind of privileges or rights to execute or write or to to read certain directories or certain files. It tells you who created it and which group it belongs to, how many bytes it takes up, and when it was last modified. All right. So those are things you can experiment with on your own. Uh, it's just good to know the terminology and good to know that they are there in case you need to know them. Which brings us to a next useful command, which is called the man command. This stands for manual, and you just type in man, space, and then the name of the command you'd like to learn more about. So here I'm going to type in man, space, ls, and I see here that ls has its own manual page. Okay. Once you are in this manual page from your command line, uh, you can scroll down by just hitting the down key. Uh, you can press space to go down one full page. You can press U to go up a full page and D to go down a full page. All right, so example gives you a description and then a list of all the options. All right, so if I scroll down here a little bit, you see the L option that I was talking about earlier. Okay. And several others, you might not use all of them, but if you need to know more about them, just use the man command. And once you're done with this, press Q to exit. Okay. So those are a couple of options and more in-depth features of the basic CD and LS commands. And in the next tutorial, we'll be covering commands which will allow you to create and remove directories and to remove text files.